G'day ladies and gents, welcome to War Thunder with Mags, and welcome to my highlights reel for my marked simulation test event. Now I'm going to cover this one in three parts. First we're going to have a little talk about the event from a technical standpoint and what I found during the event. Then I'm going to show you, well, it's already running in the background now, but a relatively unedited version of my favourite battle from the event. And then I'm going to close up with highlights from all the other battles to a little bit of music. Now one other thing, I will be annotating in links over that final highlight reel. Uh, there were many people that were present in the event that actually had recording software running and many of them are going to make their own videos. They're going to send me links through to those videos as they become available and I will annotate them in at the end. So if you want to see different perspectives on how this went, just click the links and check out the videos from the other participants. So, technical issues during this event. Well, we only really had one. The spotting mechanics in the custom battle options are set to short, normal and far. Now, I assumed normal would be normal, realistic distance and far would be you know just about get targets on aircraft as they're taking off on carriers or coming into their spawn points as it turns out that's not the case i don't know how short is we never really tested it normal is about three kilometers maximum range to get a red box and far is standard realistic spotting now for the first couple of matches we were playing on the normal setting and this was fine for arcade battles in fact i think all arcade maps that this event is ran on will need to be ran at the normal setting from this point on. Uh, once we started going to the long 7 kilometers range from inside of the cockpit while you're looking around all the red boxes on at once everybody within a 7 kilometers range being red box the screen got very busy very quickly. I think the 3 kilometer worked better for the arcade settings. The video you're watching in the background at the moment is a battle over the Pacific on a realistic map using that same spotting mechanic. Now I'm torn on this one. The three kilometer range actually worked really good. There were two or three dogfights happening in three different sections of this map at the same time, and none interfered with one another during the battle. Finding our way between targets was pretty easy as people were reporting the locations of the enemy, so even though we weren't getting red boxes outside of three kilometers, we were able to fly into position with very little difficulty. Now the seven kilometer range spotting did work very well on the realistic maps as well, obviously that's what the range was designed for, however it did find that the dogfights that were forming all over the map tended to merge together into one massive furball rather than being spread out across the map and I'm not sure if that's the way to go with this so let me know in the comments what you think is three kilometers enough or do we really need the seven for the realistic battles now the second thing that came out of this test was ease of control the biggest complaint that I had when I first mentioned it up is oh my god mags people need mouse aim they can't learn to fly and v-joy a joystick it's just too hard so how hard is it six battles we had a number of players that were in this test that were pure arcade players, had never used a V-Joy, had never used a joystick, had never flown realistic battles before, so were inexperienced with realistic battle handling, had never been in a situation where they had didn't have to lead a target without a target lead indicator. When they first came in, they were flat spinning and having awful control problems, just, well, it was to be expected. They were just getting used to a control scheme that they've never had to use before, ever, no matter how many hours that they've actually put into War Thunder. Six battles later, they were rubbing shoulders competitively with players that were experienced in simulation battle mode. Now, were they as good? No. The simulation battle pilots have thousands of hours flying combat like this, but the simulation battle pilots, after around Battle 6 were not slaughtering the arcade guys anymore. The arcade guys were making them work for their kills, making them work hard. And the arcade boys put more than a few of the simulation battle pilots in the ground and into their next aircraft themselves. This is exactly what I was hoping was going to happen, and it was intensely gratifying to see. So that's enough of me talking for the moment. The event went very well. There will be many reports on it coming up, and there will be more tests coming through. So, rather than me continuing to talk... Let's go into my favourite battle of the night from my perspective. This is Guadalcanal, battle rating 3.3 maximum, US versus Japan. Hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm trying to get on him right now. Oh, I'm, I'm going to merge with someone person. else. Never I'm touched a new stick until I heard of this. The hit. Yep. <laughs> Of course they can go for a little. There is zero yeah, chance for off. him. For me, for uh -huh. me <laughs> I know, I know. Th thank you. Oh. Did I ram someone? I knew it. Sorry, man. Okay. Ah, well, of course there's... 
on me. Oh, and that's it. Someone is currently trying to take out carriers with 7.7s. Wait, so where is everyone? Right. Well, I'm over our fleet. Max and I are on the your deck in the same area. Oh, I think we can see it. They're heading there now. I think that's uh, two aircraft I can see over there. Possibly three. P40 is faster than the KF-45. I'm, I'm dogfighting a P36. I can't see anything else. He's currently strafing. Yeah. I, I, think, I think it's the carrier high. group. Hold on. A bit towards the left. I six and um, uh, so around that area on the line of top the line on top of I six. Um, yeah, there's multiple over here. Oh, crap. there's a lot of oh, there there's a lot are, of kitty hawks near me. Yeah. Yeah. Around J8. Oh god. Oh, that's yeah, terrible plane. Oh, I got someone with a death cannon. Oh my nice. god, I killed someone. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Oh man, kudos to you. Zero OP. So I'm not quite up to lingo. What is the cannon? It's Never the 37. It. 44. Well, in any. Uh, a derp cannon just... is a really big cannon that you probably shouldn't be dogfighting with. People do anyway. <laughs> Good fun though. Observe the uh, ME 262A1 U4. That's a surprisingly effective dogfighter in its new BR. Yeah. It's true. Uh, it's a yeah, do you watch Mad videos? Uh, Yak 9T is supposed to be quite good for dogfighting as well. This is where we admit we've never watched one before, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Mag? Who is? <laughs> All hands of PCC. Oh wow. Bloody bad Connor. Well, I hit someone, then I very much apologize. He's flying with his landing gear now. Wow. That's because it's hydraulics broken, I guess. It makes your does it make your landing gears come down in the latest patch? Isn't that a thing they did? Yeah, well, it's a hard nut to crack. Did what? they do that? Have they model, haven't they modelled hydraulics now or something? I don't imagine if you got shot in hydraulics, your wheels would deploy though. That's not very realistic. Oh, well, apparently that's, that, that. If you look at gun, if you look, if you watch gun camera footage, then you can see that it does happen. I mean, he managed to get the wheel locks as well. Alright, uh, I'm coming in on this massive hey, the TBF is down. fireball you have going on here. Yeah, you guys, all three of you guys have some P60C behind you. So I'm gonna need a little bit of help. TBF. I've already gotten some solid hits into him. This seems like he's going down. Same. I've always been an MG only. I'm flying a. Tier oh, one fuck. aircraft. This is close. Oh, that was so close. Whoever that was. You're a bloody chook. What's the star speed for the A for the A6? Oh, what's my what's fucking close. Class? Who was that? The P60 is running away now. I think. I think this is my first time landing on the carrier. With a prop, at least. Of the media for you a few times. Uh, uh, Max, wh what's your uh, view on ammo belts? Like, uh, do you reckon they're really important to unlock ammo belts quickly, generally speaking, or? Is it... If it's if most. What about what about for instance the. Uh... I was going to ask about the British aircraft with the new air target belts. What do you reckon? Like, oh, personally, right. I use that quite a bit. I'm climbing out. Anyone have a good Akbar voice? No. It's a trap! That'll do. It's a trap! <laughs> wow, that it is literally good. a hive nest. Hive's nest over there. Engaging an F4F. 
Wow. Although, when you said Aloe Akbar, I think you mean General Akbar. I think there's a difference. Admiral. He just, he just Ad said Akbar. It was Admiral. Yes. America, Jin Domome. So he's a Jin Domome. Taking this. I'm on the P38. That's a lot of targets. P39, I apologize. Misread it. Taking hits. Uh, so many Japanese 50s. Max, this is my kill. I've been following it for five minutes now. Thank you kill, kill it. it. Still, still, still. Just shoot Grievous instead. Everybody wins. You've been following it for five minutes. Just kill it. It's not easy with those guns. <laughs> this is so fun. The KI-61 machine guns are terrible. I have scored hits on the F4. On the F4F. No idea how damaged it is, though. My kill! I know the zero. The zero is fantastic. Which zero are you currently following? I'm down to 100 machine gun rounds. I hope. I may have I, to I go only, a little, uh... I, just think I only have uh -oh. machine gun rounds, so, you know, I may as well just wait to go until I've got nothing left. Yeah, but you're not going to do a whole That's lot with 100 I MGs. I, 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 that, I see, I'll take that as a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pilot kill someone. That is now my only goal. I don't care if you I think there me. might be a P-39 behind me. Just judging by the sound of that. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so Somebody can play in the next battle. A little worried. Oh, great! Okay. Yeah, that spotting uh, is uh, oh. quite out because it's getting quite close. It's two k's or so that spotting distance. Ah, is at. P26. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Ow. Can we take like a five can we take like a five minute break in between the next round and the, ne and the one after that so people can go It'll and get a drink take. Put some solid hits into the F4F. I woke up at six is in the morning to, to go to, to yes, it is. and then realized I got my time conversion wrong. Oh, and he spun out, I believe. Yep. I hope that's my kill. Hits on a P63. Put hits into them. So he better be dead. Yeah, slash two. It's nice to get kills. Um, it's better than my sim. P thirty nine. Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to take that. I want my cannon on one. Jesus. How oh, I want. I want the 151 so bad. And I'm nah. out of ammo. Oh, oh my god. god. Nice 90 MG rounds. Oh, somebody's on me. Okay, there's a P40 heading towards me. Um, oh, Mags, good lord, that's zero. Okay, I'm being shot out by the carriers. I'm getting out of here. I'm bugging out. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Someone had to, didn't they? <laughs> Very honorable. Very honorable. Very honorable. Very honorable. Wait, my plane is still flying. That P400 max. <laughs> Oof. That was good. <laughs> Getting shots put into me by something, no clue what. Head on with a P40. Yes. User disconnected from your channel. Cobra on you. Nice, yep. Well, it's tracers. I, I, I imagine a battle like this was actually like happen did anything like this actually happen in World War Two, like over carriers. Yeah. Kamikazes. Yeah, that one, it's just a shame. Hey, if you're gonna criticize anything about the Japanese, be advised I am Japanese. <laughs> they had a very bad day under attack. <sighs> I, I went out and bought um, a model Bismarck and um, what do you call it, Pink Prince of Wales the other day. So you know, and I'm British. So 
had, I, I, we, and all sides had ma major failures during that war. Is it just me? <laughs> there we all. Hey man! So that was World War One at least. One plus that. World War One seems like a lot less of a reason to go to war. <laughs> oh. Fucking yeah. mess. Scratch one bandit. Extra credit. Extra credit. Extra There's something. Some guy getting a sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> Literally, some guy getting a sandwich. I thought it was to do with the uh, attempt this or the assassination of yeah, uh, some guy in Serbia. Yeah, the only reason he assassinated yeah. him is because he'd yeah. given up when French, he got a sandwich and then saw him drove by. Ben, uh, or whatever. Oh crap! That's a wildcat. Germany attacked Belgium. Germany yeah, in Belgium. Have you heard of the yeah. Great Have you heard of the channel The Great War? Channel. Every week yeah. they are, every week they upload a video um, containing what happened that week during World War One. They've been doing it since the anniversary of World War One, the hundred year anniversary. Oh. I have two MG rounds and I know, but this yeah, ten seconds left. Like past, you got massive oil leak. I have two MG rounds, but this F1 Corsair, but this Corsair has no idea, so I'm just being mean to him. Yay! I didn't die. Sexy. Holy crap. No, it's actually not too bad with the stick. It's very bad with the stick. It's awful. 
<laughs> have you flown? Have you flown the venom with the mouse? Squire, I, I'm just yeah. gonna, I'm just gonna follow Squire around so that I can shame him on YouTube. <laughs> you <And> bastard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, just forget it. I don't even know.